Hello everyone, this is Four Star here, and uh, I'm bringing you a, a full-length commentary on Nuketown Headquarters. And if the people who have been following me recently, you know this is my first commentary on a full-length game, so uh, yeah, bear with me. And uh, it's going to be 15 minutes long, so it's going to be even harder on me. But so what I did to ease my troubles is I, I had two friends here that are going to help me through this commentary. So... What they're gonna do in this, what we're gonna talk about in this commentary is uh, their channels that they're gonna be starting up, and just other random upcoming events or whatever we want to talk about. And uh, here we go, let's get started. All right, so my first friend here, his name is McFlyzors on YouTube, and uh, he's the one that actually let us use his uh, mic and uh, his awesome capture card that we've all been dying to use. And uh, he's going to explain a little bit about that, and then he's going to explain what his YouTube channel is going to consist of, and what he's going to, what his goals are, or whatever he wants to talk about his channel. So, McFlyzors, what are what are the specs of these mics and capture cards? All right, uh, for my setup, I got a Elgato Game Capture HD. It cost me around one sixty USD. Uh, kind of money. Yep. Cash money. And it records pretty much, well, all the consoles in 1080p, and, well, you can put anything that has HMI output. Anyways, it's really small, so it doesn't take up a lot on your desk, and the software is really nice. We've had a lot of problems, but yeah, we've, we, we, <laughs> this is like our eighth time doing this, but uh, we figured out it was, my mic was in the wrong USB port. Oh, yeah. But, uh... The mic I have, it's a blue snowball. You, you probably heard of it. A lot of YouTubers use it. It's really nice. Cost me around seventy USD, and um, that's about it. All right, and what are you gonna do with your YouTube channel? Um, I play every type of game. Uh, I'm, I really like indie games. They just have so much creativity. I mean, I, I, I'm a stickler for them. And uh, I, I like platformers too, Super Meat Boy, Mario. I'm I'm really into those too. All right, so if you like platformers or uh, indie games, you better check out his channel. And uh, you're gonna be accepting requests, right? Yep, yeah, I I play I can play any type of game really. All right, so if you guys want to see him play any game, if you enjoy his commentary, definitely request a game that you guys would like to see him play. All right, and uh, my other friend here, his name is Goat Meat. And by the way, I have both their channels on my featured channels on my channel page. So if you guys do want to check them out, there's links there. And uh, so Goat Meme, what are you going to do with your YouTube channel? Well, with my channel, I'm pretty much just going to make it the best channel on YouTube ever. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's that's pretty easy to do. Can't imagine that being that hard. He's going to surpass PewDiePie in like a week. Probably. I'm I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna I'm gonna take it. my goal is YouTube domination. Okay. I don't know if I'll get there, but I will. Maybe. Oh, he he doesn't know, but he's he's confident at the same time. So. You you gotta do that. You gotta stay confident. Oh, oh yeah, definitely. But you also gotta stay naive. Definitely. All right, and so what are we gonna be seeing on your channel then? With my channel, I'm pretty much gonna be playing any game that is hot, any game that has came out, or any game that really isn't hot. So whatever you want pretty much then? Yeah. Or what your viewers want? Pretty much whatever I want, whatever strikes strikes my fancy, whatever. So you're going to be uh, accepting requests as well then, I'm guessing? I, I will be accepting requests, uh -huh. along, like such as McFly's here. Um, I will also, I might, I might do some Black Ops commentaries. Huh? But That'd be fun to watch. Uh, they might, they might be, uh, but you know they won't be up to par with four star here. You know I'm not gonna uh, be getting, I'm not gonna be getting hundred kills oh, each blushing. game, blushing. or <laughs> or kill chains nonstop all day every day. You know all yeah. that stuff. Yeah, no, I don't understand how he does it. I I could imagine. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, so, so uh, what's going on in this game here? Oh, in this game? Uh, okay, so we're. I already said this, but we're at headquarters on Newtown, which is a really small map if you don't know. I'm pretty sure you do. And I'm beasting with the MSMC, and uh, I'm rocking the fast mag and adjustable stock so I can run around like a ninja and reload the shit really quickly. Fuck them bitches up. Yes.
So I'm pretty much just walking around like a train, trying to bully everyone on this map as beastie as I can. And uh, yeah, um, score streaks I'm using. If you're wondering, uh, you can see it in the bottom right corner. It's a UAV counter UAV and orbital visa. I I don't know, I, that's all I've been using lately. I haven't really been using lethal score streaks because I always, when I play solo, I always get matched up with really terrible players and I need to support their asses because that's just my job. Some, I don't know, somewhere down the line, that's what my job job became to be when I played in this game. You, you'll, you'll cocky there. You'll, you'll support them, but they won't support yeah, you. Yeah, well, which is fine because my score streaks also supports my ass too, so. Yeah. It's a win win for everyone on my team. Yeah. And, yeah. Uh, if you guys were wondering what perks I'm using, uh, some of you are, may already know because I, I use pretty much the same setup on all my classes, no matter what the gun is. I, I rock a flag jacket, ghosts, uh, toughness, scavenger, tactical mask. So I run five perks, which is I have to use two wild cards, so that's seven slots out of ten on the crit class. And the other three I do is uh, the primary weapon and two attachments. That's Pretty much what I do, because um, I, I don't I don't really need a secondary gun. I can just pick up one off the ground, and I don't use equipment because I don't like getting killed by equipment. So why would I use it? And it's just a waste of my time. And you you don't really need a second gun because you got scavenger. You yeah. Ex oh yeah. Exactly. Even you still run out of ammo with scavenger sometimes, so it's kind yeah. of weird. What what people don't realize is that secondaries are supposed to be secondary. Yeah. Yeah. Much. Definitely. Oh yeah. It was, it was honestly, I, I'm not a big COD player, but I played quite a bit of Iron for 2, and you know, the models and the, the other shotguns, you know, people use those to their advantage. Yeah, they use them as primary weapons. Yeah, That's right. all they run around with. No, they're your, they're your backup, but people want to play well, whatever, I guess. Whatever floats their boats. Now, uh, I, I realized we didn't. Uh, specifically say what consoles we play, so you know, oh, yeah? where we can go. Uh, our limitations to what we can play. Um, I'll start off first because I have the most consoles. Uh, I have a Wii U, I have an Xbox 360, and, and I got a PC, a really good PC. I can play pretty much everything. And uh, how about you, Forza? Uh, well, it's in my name, PS3. But I will be buying a PS4 right when it comes out as soon as I can. Um, I don't know how much of demand it's going to be, but I'm pretty sure it's going to be kind of tough to get it right away. Right. But so PlayStation, pretty much. I I enjoy both Xbox and PlayStation, but I just I just rock the PlayStation. Uh, and go me about you, man. What do you use? Uh, I strictly play Game Gear, Game Gear games. Oh, Game what Gear. What a boss! I know that guy is such a boss. <laughs> no, not really. Um, <laughs> I I play on the the old Xbox 360. <laughs> the old one? <laughs> the old one. Yeah, because you know the, the Xbox One. Oh, yeah. That's coming. That's which, coming is, now. which is funny because you got the newer Xbox 360. I have the old one. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Right. So he's got the old X. You got the, the black one. Yeah, the slim. But yeah. we we were just mentioning the Xbox One. Uh, how, how about those new consoles that are coming out? The PS4 and the Xbox One. Um, well, I'm definitely excited for both of the systems because I think they're both great systems. Um, I'm. Like I said, I'm going to get the PS4, just because that's my preference. Uh, they're both really similar, and each of them have their benefits and cons, but, you know, I don't know. I am really excited for both of them to come out. Yeah, and uh, I've always been an Xbox guy, but really, I'm not sure what I'm going to get. I'm pretty sure I'm just going to get the Xbox, but, you know, I might change my mind. Maybe we should all get PS4s. Maybe. Yeah, I'm kind of indifferent on the whole new console thing, because... Xbox, you know, I would like to stay with the Xbox, but it's becoming more media driven, and I don't really care Hipster. for media. media no, Hipster. no, I'm not floating down the mainstream. <laughs> uh, well, I'm so hipster, I don't float down the mainstream. <laughs> that's the thing about the Xbox. Uh, it's actually called the Xbox One because it's an all-in-one like media center type deal. You know what I mean? Like it, it has a lot of functionality with cable and satellite whatever and oh yeah youtube it, it's and it's a gaming so it's a gaming console well, so yeah. why is it got to have i mean I'm, yes i know i know they're showing off how it's an all one type thing all all in one box you get media and you know, tv movies whatever internet yeah internet, all, that all that stuff but you know i would rather rather than seeing like a whole press conference about 
oh, we can play cable and all this other shit on our system. I would, be, I would like to see some games. Yeah, I know, right? They, they, they focused it mainly on media. Like, it wasn't even games. Uh, I didn't watch the whole conference, but I've heard it took 35 minutes to just show a reveal trailer for a game. And, you know, it's kind of, eh. I think they did with the PS4 as well, but, eh. You know. Yeah, we don't really know a whole lot about the PS4 yet, but I think June 13th or three days after E3 or whatever, I don't know. Pretty soon. They'll show gonna, a lot on YouTube. Yeah, definitely. I cannot wait for that. Definitely and be talking about that when that happens. With, with these new consoles, do you see how these controllers look? Oh, yeah, the like controllers are like, oh, yeah. crap, man. It's like yeah. the PS4 one. Yeah, they changed oh it. God. Dude, it's been the same for like so many years. Why you gotta change it, boy? They Why go, you gotta change it? They go up and put a fucking touch screen on that thing. Yeah, and putting Xbox triggers on it. Yeah. And curving it out and stuff. And Oh, my God. It's... It's. I hope it, it better be good when it's in my hands. Like I don't like the look of it, but if it, if it feels good, then I'll be fine with it. It better be as fem feminine as the PS3 one. Oh yeah, definitely. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, they they try to change it for the best, but you know, you, you never know until it comes out. Like I'll probably be. I, I'm kind of fanboying here, but uh, I'll probably be buying the Xbox One launch day, but. You know, better pre-order it then. Yeah, yeah I definitely yeah. will. But pre-order pre if it's CR. bad, I, 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 I don't know what I'm gonna do. I, it's probably gonna be in the five hundred dollar range. I just wasted five hundred bucks. Well, that's why we invented dumpsters. I mean, it's definitely, <laughs> it's definitely not gonna be as fail as the Wii down there. Oh yeah, dude, Wii is. Oh my god, who would buy that? Unless I, you're eighty or thirteen. I think you should just be like one of those one of those guys <laughs> that goes to like a midnight launch of a console or like a new Apple product and goes. He's like, oh, I got the new product. Whoop, throws it in the air and smashes oh, it. Yeah, dude, that'd be sweet. <laughs> I, I don't think I'm going to do that. Yeah, that I, I really want to play it. <laughs> and then, uh, I don't know what games I'm going to pick up. I mean, they only show three games. They're probably going to be more than that. Is uh, a, is GTA but, V coming out on the next gen, or is that on the I, don't, I think that's current gen. Current gen? Oh, I, uh, I just can't wait till I, that game I, comes out. Hopefully sure. they'll make a port, because I want to put two consoles on my entertainment center like it's weird like the xbox one if you didn't know it doesn't have backwards compatibility yeah which is bull crap yeah, it's a bunch I, of I don't think the ps4 is gonna either i, I don't think so either but like they should have because if xbox had a backwards compatible everyone that had an xbox 360 would most likely buy the xbox it doesn't one. make sense because the xbox 360 yeah. has backwards compatibility to the original and yeah. then to on another note that confuses a lot of people too because when people say Xbox One, they think of the original Xbox, and <laughs> yeah, that gets yeah. really confusing. And just... now people are just going to go Xbox original. I just, I just like how I want to point this out. I just like how they called it Xbox O N E. <laughs> they didn't put a number; they just spelled it out. <laughs> <laughs> Sweet. But with the Xbox One, they they predicted a victory already for themselves. They're just like. Hey guys, we're going to name our uh, new Xbox, Xbox One, because we won, bitches. Yeah. Oh. We already won. Oh, we'll Microsoft, see what happens. Microsoft is getting cocky already. Yeah, they, they always do. And uh, another bullcrap thing about the Xbox is uh, they're, they're getting the, the DLC for Call of Duty a month early over PS4, and that's already been announced. So unfortunately for us pod players on PS4, PS3, uh, we're going to have to suffer that shit again. Yeah. And uh, where are they going to name the next console? Are they going to name it the Xbox 2? Well, most likely. Like, <laughs> I mean, why wouldn't they? Uh, I, would, I would just call it the Xbox Wong. The Wong? <laughs> That's what I would call it. I call it the Xbox Wang, if you ask me. <laughs> you know? But, I mean, like I said, they're, they're both great systems. I can't wait till they come out. I want to learn more about the PS4. I think I think I would call the Xbox looks like my cable box. <laughs> looks like my VCR. <laughs> looks like my VCR. <laughs> Can I put Land Before Time in this thing? <laughs> oh yeah, for sure. Oh, and we have uh, 43 seconds left in this game, so uh, probably should wrap this up. Um, so yeah, you guys met uh, Goat Meat and McFlyzers. Don't forget to check them out on my channel, featured channels. Uh, thanks for watching, everyone. This is Four Star. And um, any last comments from you guys? Well, um, yeah, you, you guys should check out our channels. I mean, we're gonna, we, we just started, but, uh, we're just gonna be, uh, we're just starting, and... Yeah, we, and we, they just, we all just want to see where this takes us. So, yeah. Have fun with it. Most definitely, check us out if you want. 
If yeah. you don't want to, then don't. Well, whatever, just don't. <laughs> we don't have any videos yet. I mean, I tried putting a... I tried putting a live stream Super Meat Boy, but it didn't work. Alright, and then the final score is 155 to 45. And uh, I had 108 kills with 12k score and 22 deaths. I know it's not really that good, but thanks for watching this, it. This guy already is modest. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, later guys.